hey guys welcome back to another new video today we are going to try out a new custom rom on our redmi note 8 and today we have a rom called infinity x this rom is based on android 14 and today we're going to find out if this rom is usable or not so let's get started so the rom is booted up let's go first and check out android version and security patch level and this is a new rom so released few days back actually so we are getting almost all the latest things here actually so android 14 as you can see it this one is the official build of infinity x rom and you can see uh display resolution display hertz and infinity x 1.0 this is the first build of it and battery a uh, processor and the camera data is wrong though 4GB and 64GB that's okay and Jinko as you can see the security patch level is 5th May 2024 so latest build and it is a Android 14 based ROM so as you can see here Android 14 so the ROM I have been using for few days now and there is a lot to say about this ROM by the way the UI is clean and if you go to network and internet as you can see I have already connected to the internet everything seems to be fine but but there are some issues connected bluetooth is also working app section you can see here all the things whatever you get with typical android 14 based rom all those things are available here nothing new that much so in the battery section you can see like a capacity cycle and temperature also you can enable or disable your first charging as you can see here uh, we can control the ampere here so if you don't want first charging you can disable it also we have charging control here so you can schedule the charging control as i have mentioned this on evolution x rom also so similar things are here and also there are a few other things how much battery consumes uh, what apps you can see here by the way the battery backup is pretty good actually it's pretty good the storage as you can see after installing some apps is still 32 gig available so quite decent and going to the display section the ui is pretty beautiful here dark mode is available extra dim is available and also uh, night mode colors and whatever you want to do all those things are available and you can tweak the color calibration directly from here although we do have xiaomi parts option too you can calibrate your display from there too so both of them are available double tap to work does work but a little slow so if i show you as you can see it's pretty slow yes sometime yeah so double tap to work is slow most of the time it's slow actually let's check wallpaper and style section so we have clock and other things we can change we have a color plate here and we can change wallpaper let's change and we don't have any ai wallpaper section here so ai wallpaper is not there there are a few other things you can go to more and dynamic clock and other things always show time and information increase better you use it so maybe it is like a always on display so yes as you can see always on display is available and it does look beautiful actually so as you can see it is giving me some weird issue right now it's because maybe it's like preventing because of the pocket mode available that's why so going back in the security and privacy so in the security and privacy we do have face and fingerprint unlock and both of them pretty slow uh, let me show you so fingerprint is working just fine and as you can see here it's slow face unlock is pretty slow even if it get like enough light it still it takes a lot of time as you can see even with uh, good light because now i'm recording video so all the lights are available but still it's pretty slow so both of them are available both of them works but slow and there are a few other things like location is working safety emergency password and other things all those things are available on each and every room and also we do have Xiaomi parts I have mentioned and in terms of customization I really like the way the customization suite look here like if you go to infinity suite everything laid out pretty beautiful as you can see and if you go to monet and you can change the theme and color they are a little bit laggy as you can see here when I tap it's a little laggy but everything's available here actually whatever you need you can go to buttons or infinity switch okay buttons and we do have gesture options 
and double tap to sleep on the status bar those also available and if you go to miscellaneous we do have unlimited photo storage for google photos and there are a few other things like you can downguard your apps and charging background few other things are available so almost all the features you want from a custom rom are available going back in that section we do get me my camera which does work i did try and i did install gcam i usually use that one is also i have installed and it's also working perfectly fine dolby atmos is there and few other application here and safety net is passed but right now i have already installed magisk here so safety net will show failed and also we do have a phone section here the the dialer is not really like a google dialer but it does look inside google dialer but maybe it's not a google dialer here and messaging also there so other than that there is nothing much going on so one thing about this rom this rom is pretty laggy most of the time it lags uh, even when i play games so i have been trying my games here actually so i usually play uh, only call of duty on my mobile phone and each and every rom i install i try this game because this game i only play and usually when i install like play games here uh, usually i keep the resolution low and fps to high because i don't really need that much graphics uh, i just want a smoother uh, smooth playing so but this rom lags pretty badly actually and uh, i have been playing games since i have installed this rom and the gaming experience is not really good so if you are a gamer or you play games on this device uh, it is not really a good rom to play games although i do have like really good internet connection here so as you can see here graphics quality and frame rate is high usually i keep like this on this phone actually so if i go to rank match and if i play one game you will see the performance it's um, hit or miss sometimes it does work pretty well but most of the time um, it's not really a good rom to play games So gaming performance is not really that great but if you want to play games you can but it's going to be very difficult. Uh, I think better go with Evolution X ROM uh, not the latest build of it. Latest build has some issue. I did try that ROM. So you can try the older version of Evolution X if you really want and if you want pretty much stable then you can go with Android 11 based ROM. By the way I will put the link of this ROM in the description below if you want to try it out you can try. So that's all about Infinity X ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.